Hello guys, my name is Asnan and you're watching Trending Codes. In this video, we're gonna implement the NG progress bar into your Ionic 3 app. Now, this NG progress bar, it comes with your Angular and, um, um, but you need to install it additionally as an add-ons package and to install that, um, we have the command and that is npm install ng2 progress bar right over here as you can see if you're filling uh, you can find the command into the description right underneath the video and once you'll hit enter your progress bar will get installed I have already installed I'm not going to install one more time as you can see over here uh, added one package in 9.615 seconds so Probably it will take 10 or 9 to 10 seconds and it will install your ng2 progress bar. Now, how to implement the ng progress bar into your Ionic 3 app? So first of all, what you're going to do is just go ahead and head to the app.module.ts file and inside the app.module.ts file, just import the ng progress module from ng2 progress bar okay once you import it you need to uh, you, you need to import it into your ng module inside the import directive and here it is um, inside the imports you should uh, import your ng progress modules once you do that now go ahead on the home.html page and just open it up uh, I'm sorry home.ts file and inside the home.ts file what you're gonna do is make sure in the app.module.ts file you're going to implement the ng progress module and inside your home.ts file you're going to import the ng progress service now because you're going to use the service which are provided by the ng progress bar and so we need to implement this or we need to import this module from the ng progress bar so once you install this inject into the constructor I have just injected in this way p service ng progress service now I hope you have been done all this step now once you're done with all these steps what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your HTML file and inside the HTML file you're gonna just go ahead and write the ng sorry, ng uh, progress bar uh, I guess only ng progress uh, let me check it out I'm just conf a bit confused is it ng progress or ng progress bar um, let, me, let me check yeah it is just an ng progress so I'll just explain you over here uh, you can find the documentation on the uh, npmgs.com so uh, we have installed it and we have imported it and we have okay now to use that you need to just import right away or you need to just type the ng progress okay and bam that's it now once you do this you will be able to use ng progress bar into your ionic 3 app but the problem with the app or uh, the problem with the progress bar is that you won't be able to see because of some uh, styling issue of uh, ng progress bar so i'll just uh, i'll just make you know i'll just help you how to display the progress bar um, now your progress bar is somewhere over here on the topmost part of your um, uh, a yawn header so you won't be able to see if you will run that and it won't run automatically we need to uh, say or we need to uh, make it run on the button click or on the I don't load event or something like that so uh, to make that uh, we'll, what we'll do is uh, we'll, we're gonna create one button right over here a yawn to button sorry uh, ion to button okay and in this button I'm going to say that start and I'm going to create one click event right over here so and uh, the click event name is run 
which will uh, be calling the run event from the th file and on this run event we're gonna um, make that progress bar to run okay so um, first of all we're gonna define the run event and inside the run event what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start the p service which we have injected right inside the constructor uh, i hope you have imported the ng progress service and I have injected the ng progress service as p service in my constructor. So I'll be using like uh, this dot uh, p service, something like p service. Uh, okay, I'm getting the out. Um, I'm getting the error. Uh, let's see afterwards. Uh, okay, now this will be having some uh, events, and as you can see. Um, it, it is having p service is having done which will specify that the progress survey should done which uh, inc which will be increment is started to it's a kind of boolean method which will written true or false so uh, over here we are going to start the service okay so we are going to start the progress bar so i'll just use the start now once I start now, it, it should take some time to load for like two seconds or three seconds. So I'm just going to set the timeout function of the JavaScript. So uh, I'm going to use the set. Um, what is that function is um, something set timeout. Yeah. This is the function uh, which use the three parameters or something. First one is the handler. We are going to create the handler for that. And inside the handler, uh, we're going to write the um, what exactly what should be done inside the set timeout, and it should be for uh, two seconds. So we should give the time into milliseconds. And inside the uh, timeout, uh, we're going to say that over here, after the two seconds, we should complete the loading of our progress bar. And to do that, just type. Uh, this dot p service uh, this dot p service dot uh, I guess done yeah this is the thing uh, which will just tell the progress bar that your work is done just stop okay now we're getting the error in HTML file somewhere over here see okay I should maintain this space uh, okay so I'm gonna head and I'm gonna go ahead and save that and let's take a look whether it's work or not um, okay let's wait okay so here is our output and if I click you won't be able to see the progress bar right now because as I have told you your progress bar is somewhere over here behind your uh, ion header so uh, to make it visible uh, either you can remove the header or if you want your header into your app you what you can do is uh, you can just uh, go ahead and create the uh, class that is ng progress bar or something like that uh, let's see what is that uh, I'll just make it visible to you people okay now uh, I'll just go ahead and inspect it now here is our button okay and uh, where is the progress bar here it is now inside this progress bar uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll just go ahead in the ng progress bar ng progress inside that ng progress bar and I'll just open it one more time and here it is now this the, here is the class ng progress now uh, what I'll do ng progress uh, I'll just add the margin um, top to something 100 pixels okay and let's see okay so can you see I, I got the uh, progress bar running over there but it is having some shadow or something so it is it, it is not visible properly uh, so to remove that what I'll do is I'll once again I'll just go inside the uh, 
ng progress class and inside the ng progress progress class uh, you're gonna get the something uh, class bar due bar and inside the bar um, no you go inside the bar and um, display none now let's have a look okay so we have removed that um, shadow from the uh, progress bar so this style was temporary so what you have to do is you have to go inside the uh, your home dot scss file and inside your home dot scss file uh, the first class was something um, progress bar or ng progress bar I just forgot uh, let's take a look it was ng ng progress yeah right over here so uh, I'll just it is ng progress so I'll just go ahead and ng progress and I'll just add margin margin top to something uh, 70 pixels now it's depend on to you how much you want uh, according to your requirement just uh, keep or just uh, set the margin top according to you and what was that another class is uh, mm, I just forgot what is that inside the bar the class was um, something bar shadow mm, yeah bar shadow um, it should be like bar shadow now inside the bar shadow just uh, make it display none and that's it let's save so uh, I, I, I hope you understand what I have done over here is uh, I have just inside the ng progress uh, I have just uh, target the class called ng progress and inside the ng progress uh, I have just bring that progress bar down so that it is visible to you people to demonstrate that and the bar shadow should be displayed on none because it was not looking better okay so let's take a look okay so here we go with our output if I click on start the progress bar will be loaded and in, in the time interval of two seconds it will complete the loading of the progress bar so can you see over here now uh, my screen recording is doing uh, creating a problem but the progress bar is so smooth and you can just use it and it will be uh, scrolling too smooth into your app my, my just screen recorder is creating a problem so it is not showing you a smooth uh, animation but it is it is animated so smooth and uh, you can use the different option I'll just show you what kind of option you can use into your progress bar now uh, if you take a look on this documentation you can use these um, position using margin left if you want to use margin left uh, then you can use the margin left position if you want to use translate or translate 3d you can use that and this minimum attribute just tell you that um, uh, from where your progress bar should start loading so uh, you can set that maximum will just tell you that from up to where your progress bar uh, should start the loading here is the speed you can just in, uh, increase and decrease the loading speed of your um, ionic uh, I mean the progress bar now uh, if you remove the header okay and you'll just uh, if you will not give the margin to your header and if you will remove the uh, uh, I'm, I'm just sorry what I'm talking about um, I'm sorry okay if you'll just remove the header from your ionic app right from here okay you will able to see the spinner along with your ng2 progress okay along with your ng2 progress bar you will be able to see the spinner 
okay so now if you want to remove that spinner you can just use this attribute show spinner to false and the spinner will be not visible into your screen now if you want you can change the direction of your uh, progress bar right now it was from left to right but if you want you can just use it with the help of right to left increased and you can obviously you can change the color you can change the uh, trickle speed you can change the thickness you can change the uh, animations these all things are done and uh, if you we'll take uh, a look on this documentation you'll able to know uh, link in the description you can just go ahead and take a look on the uh, on this documentation so here it is our progress bar and it's increasing and increasing uh, completing the uh, loading into the two seconds so for now uh, I'm just signing off and uh, I'll just catch you in my next video take care bye bye and keep coding